Yo, what is up gamers, it's Sebastian here, coming to a brand new video. Now, earlier today, I showed you guys a Tri Brigade DPE deck profile, right? That's Tri Brigade with DPE, Destroyer, Phoenix, and Force. If you don't know what that means, it means a big fusion guy. He goes like this and he pops everything. Now, with this card, you might be thinking, okay, how can I summon Destroyer, Phoenix, and Force? I can get with well, if Bear Boom locks me and Ferte locks me, and Fusion Destiny locks me. Right, well I have the solution for you, and I'm gonna show you guys right now, so continue watching this video. If you don't know what deck I'm talking about, check out the deck profile that was released today. Boom, very simple, the new way to play Tri Brigade. Let's see some combos. Okay, so let's do the first hand, which is Bird Call and Cobalt Spiral. Now this could also be Warbler and Cobalt Spiral, or Warbler and Bird Call, all works. Anyway, so let's start by activating the bird call right here. And we're going to give ourselves a warbler. Uh, add warbler to a hand. If you click no, then it sends it to growth. You do not want to send the warbler to growth. You want warbler to go to a hand. If you're adding cobalt, then you can send it to growth. It plays around draw. And we are not going to special summon because we want to special summon the warbler here in defense. And then add the fate effect. We're going to activate the effect of Warbler, special the Cobalt from hand, uh, probably in defense, that would make sense. And we're going to activate Cobalt to search ourselves a Nerf Owl. Now, we get Nerf Owl here, and we can immediately go and Link Summon, hard Link Summon, a Ferrajit. Bada bing, bada boom, here we go. So we can summon a Ferrajit here. Now, we can activate Ferrajit effect to summon the Nerf Owl from hand. Right here, very simple. Now that's if you if you know how to do maths, one, two, three, nerf out is the fourth summon. So to play around uh to play around the Biru, we are going to activate Nerf out now to summon Bear Boom. So we're gonna summon Bear Boom to the middle zone here. Uh Bing Bush and now we can go and make Ferte with the Ferrajit and the Nerf out. Now the nice thing about starting with Lyrilisk is that we have not normal summoned yet. This means our Nerf Owl will be able to search a Tri Brigade that we can then normal summon. So let's do Nerf Owl 1, Ferrogy 2. That's this, you know, Master Duel does take a valve on some of these animations. Okay, let's see what we draw off of Ferrogy. We draw a kit, well... Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, now, we, now we're going to search for a Fractal. And we're going to normal summon Fractal. And that's fake Fractal effect. Now here we can banish uh, two. We're not going to do that effect. We're going to click the two here. Banish two. One, two. And we're going to summon a double Dragon Lords. Right here. Now, to finish it off, we're going to activate Ferte. We're going to pay 2,000 life points and we're going to send Fusion Destiny to the grave. Here, we're going to summon Destroy Phoenix Enforcer using uh, Dasher and Celestial as material. And we're going to summon the DPE wherever we want it. Let's go here. Oh, look, they fits the Fusion animation. Here's the cutting for him. Now, we can activate DPE effect. And we're going to pop itself and Bear Boom. You can also pop 30 if you want. Uh, it doesn't matter too, too much. But we're going to now chain block the Bear Boom with DPE effect. And here we get both the DPE and the Revolt. So let's add Revolt to hand. Put an Ash Blossom back. And look at how insane this is, right? Off of two cards we get ddl revolt and dpe engrave and on top of that because we hard link some of the ferrajit we can use revolt to bring back ferrajit and then we have a draw so we get to draw into potentially more hand traps and here we are just going to activate fat terror fat send this and we're going to dump warbler to grave just so we can have the zones uh, available to summon the fault if we haven't used DPE yet. Oh, and just to show you guys what happens, we go end phase, and then goes turn change, draw phase, standby phase, DPE returns.
Not to that song because they can summon anima there, but you you get the idea. So this hand is going to be Fat Tail plus a Tri Brigade. So let's start by activating Fat Tail effect. And we're going to send Nerf out to Grave. Nerf out effect is going to give us a Tri Brigade, let's say Karaz. And then we can normal summon Kit. We're going to use Kit effect. Banish 2. 1, 2. And then we're going to summon a Ferrogeet here. Bit Bosch, we're going to add the fake Ferrogeet effect. Special the Courage, we're going to pretend like we don't have the Cobalt in hand because that... Obviously we do a different line because we do the Cobalt, but I'm just trying to do the basic combos here. Um, so now we're going to make Ferto, make Ferto like that King Scarlet song. Um, boom, here it is. We're going to add the fake Ferrogeet effect and uh, we need to use Kit. One, two, three. Yeah, we're going to add the fake Kit effect as well, just so we can have the try types in Grave. Um, so Kit is going to send anything. Let's send a second Karaz. And now Ferrogeet is going to draw into Warbler. We're going to pick back the Cobalt. And now Karaz effect can banish two. Uh, we're going to banish this and this, and we're going to summon Bear Boom. Now, very simply, activate Ferte effect, send Fusion Destiny to Grave, and once again, we summon DPE using Dasher and Celestial as materials. Summon, rate this animation out, I guess, and now we have the end board at the fate effect now pop and pop and then one and two resolve resolve add default to hand pit back warbler i guess and then we can once again just set our cards go to end phase and then on the opponent's turn we get to summon DPE back to our board. Click this, don't click the other guys, because that you do not want to do. Boom, here it is. DPE. And then uh, we just win from here. Okay, so this hand is exciting because we've hard opened Fusion Destiny. Which means we're going to start off by Special Warbler. Now, we don't have to make 13 now, which means we get to end on a much better board when we open Fusion Destiny. So special Warbler, special Cobalt, Cobalt Effect. We're going to grab ourselves a Nerve Owl. And then we're going to still make a Fairy Jeet here, obviously. Uh, bush with these. Summon this. Activate Fairy Jeet Effect. Special Summon Nerve Owl to this zone, not to the Fairy Jeet zone. Watch out for that. Now we're going to activate Nerve Owl. Vanish 2. And we're going to get Bear Boom on the fifth summon again, just so if they have Nib, we don't actually lose to Nib. Now here we're going to make a Ruka with the Ferrogeet as two materials and the Nerf Owl. So here we go, Ruga. And we're going to activate Nerf Owl 1, Ferrogeet 2. Uh, just so, you know, what we draw could impact what we want to add off of Nerf Owl. Uh, obviously, for us, it doesn't matter too much. We're just going to pretend we didn't draw it. It doesn't matter too much. And then this nerve file is going to search. Doesn't matter. You can search anything. I'm going to search kit here to keep the fat tails in deck. And then we're going to normal summon the kit. Add the fake kit effect. Banish two. We're going to banish these two. We're going to summon double dragon lords. Fine third. Now, with the Rugal and the kit, we are going to make an Appaloosa using the Rugal as three materials. So we get a two material Appaloosa. From here, we can now activate our Fusion Destiny from our hand. We're not going to activate kit. Uh, we can activate Fusion Destiny from hand. And we can summon our DPE using this and this as materials. I'm going to summon the DPE here, it doesn't matter. There's probably a void summoning in here because of Anima. 
And now we just simply activate DPE effect, pop itself, and pop Bear Boom. And then, once again, you guys know the drill, chain link from Bear Boom and chain link to DPE. From here, DPE resolves, who asked, and then we get to add Revolt to hand. Boom. And boom. And now we set Revolt, and turn, and once again, it's like magic. DPE will return, and now our end board is going to be Appaloosa, DDL, Revolt, which gives us a draw, and a DPE. That's a pretty good end board, if I say so myself. That's going to be it for today, though. Uh, there's a lot more different variations on how you can play Try DPE, which I can go into detail in a later video if you really want to see. But of it just comes down to nuance, it's very much dependent on what exactly is in your hand. And so covering every single combination is kind of hard. So if you want to see a more, more like in depth, the sort of watching gameplay footage of me playing Try DPE, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you gamers later. Tomorrow, we're going to see a brand new deck profile, the best deck to play DPE in. I bet you guys can't wait, but that's going to be it for today. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to like, comment, don't dislike, because that's mean. And until next time, I'll see you gamers later.